Welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to do a little introduction about a upcoming course that I have been preparing for the last few months. Uh, the topic we're going to do on this course is build a Clubhouse clone using Golang, Pion and Next.js. Okay, uh, now we're going to go through what libraries we will be using in this course. In the back end, we're going to use Ion SFU. Uh, that is built top of Pion. Uh, Pion is a pure Go implementation of WebRTC. And we're going to use um, Go Fiber for our REST API uh, and WebSockets. And Go ENT, uh, which is uh, Entity Framework uh, for Go. Uh, it's developed by Facebook. And we're going to use uh, Go Radis. Uh, we're going to use uh, Radis signaling uh, between the nodes. And in, in the front end, we're going to use Next.js and Chakra UI and Framer Motion. Uh, that's for a little uh, animation touch up for the project. Okay, uh, next we'll go through the project structure. Okay, the reason I have designed it like this is um, this project is fully scalable. Uh, as you see, uh, it goes through a business logic uh, and it goes through the uh, SFU. So ideally, you can have many SFU as you need because uh, one SFU can only serve so many people. So the way I designed it so you can you know, scale it by yourself later on um, of the project as you need it. Okay, let's start um, explaining. Okay, basically uh, it starts from the Next.js client that hits our business logic. Okay, and all the data is stored in the Postgres uh, database. And then we're going to use a uh, Redis in the middle between the SFU and the business logic. Okay, because these two need to communicate. Um, as the client comes in, it needs to go pass the information to a, a SFU, uh, which we're going to use uh, Redis to do uh, the internal signaling. Okay. Okay, finally, uh, we're going to go through uh, what you will be learned after this course. Okay, if you're on the back end side, you'll be using, um, you'll be learning how to use uh, GoFiber for both REST and WebSocket server side. Knowledge of using PyOn WebRTC, uh, Ion SFU. Uh, basic structure of a microservices with Redis. Um, GoENT, which is a uh, ORM uh, by Facebook and then we will develop, uh, deploy this uh, server onto a live server and in the front end you will learn Next.js server-side rendering and Chakra UI usage, WebSocket connection uh, what I mean by that is the actual WebRTC uh, flow uh, how, how you deal with um, p um, offer, answer um, you know things like that and also a you'll be learning how to write a rest api as well okay these are just the uh, like a summary of what we're going to use but i'm sure there is a lot more you know as you go through the course okay enough talking uh let's see some uh, live demo of um the project okay finally uh we i'm going to show you uh what will this finished project will look like roughly okay and uh, this is the ui that i have prepared okay we'll just put in some dummy information and then we will get into this main screen okay basically this main screen uh, is your information and what all the rooms in progress who's talking and the numbers create a new room okay that's what it looks like when you pop up it will you enter your room number and your description and then in the room, in the actual room view, it will look like this, okay? And whoever's talking, uh, it will say speaker or you're the host. And you can also have text uh, chat here as well, okay? And I have added a, a little animation that you can do animation with that. And it, that will go across to all the users via WebRTC data channel, okay? Same as the chat, chat would be as well. Okay, and with this request, if you want to be a speaker, just like Clubhouse, you click and, and the owner will get a little pop-up and if he accepts, then you, you become a speaker. And these are just little buttons, you know, for settings and so on. Okay, so basically um, that's what we're going to build. Okay, and, and it's runnable. 
and we can deploy it live and we can all try it out. Alright, thanks very much everybody.